sure it's mine. Okay. Uh, this is June 21st, 1994, and uh, I am interviewer Rose Fernandez Ejiziaco, and I will, the narrator is Lillian Dorn Fernandez, that's F-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-Z. I would like to just clarify why her name Fernandez is with a Z and mine is an S. Uh, my uncle Domingo Fernandez, when he came from Portugal, they had written up all his papers in New York with the Z. So he followed through, I think probably being hesitant to hesitant to question the authority. So he remained the Z, though my father remained with the true family name S, because Fernandez with the S is Portuguese and with the Z it's Hispanic. So the family name in Hastings on Hudson of Fernandez is Portuguese and the true spelling is F-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-S. I just thought I would clarify that. Now, uh, Lillian, could you give us your recollections of um, your childhood in Hastings on Hudson during World War II? Well, I don't really have all that many memories. I do remember I had a cousin in the Navy, James Wright. Well, we all knew him as Bubby. He was in the Navy but he really wanted to be in the submarine division, but he was quite tall, and they stuck him in another area. What it was, I really don't remember. But anyway, I remember my mom trying to do her share to help out with the Red Cross. They gave her a lot of wool and told her to make six sweaters. And they told her one sweater for six weeks time period, but she misinterpreted and made six sweaters in a six-week time period, and they gave her a special kind of pin, as I recall. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. But don't ask me where that pin would be right now. Mm -hmm. Now, the Red Cross, uh, was it a branch in Hastings on Hudson, or how did this... Um, I would imagine... She worked because, at home. Yeah, I would imagine it would be Hastings because mm -hmm. uh, she did the work at home, but the supplies must have come from someplace in Hastings because my mom didn't drive. We didn't have a car. Right, so never had a car. So as far as you can recollect, they delivered to her at home? Yeah. Okay. Is, do you have any other recollections? Of, well, I can remember when I was little, we had what I called imitation butter. It came in a cellophane wrapping and it looked like Crisco would look right now but it also came with a yellow capsule and you burst that capsule open and this liquid came out and you just kept kneading this lard until it looked yellow like butter. I don't think it tasted like butter, but I don't remember that. And of course, being a kid, I thought that was a lot of fun to do. And in fact, we used to get into arguments, my sisters and I, whose turn it was to make the butter. <laughs> Do you remember about any other scarcity of uh, different foods at home? Yeah, well, I never remember the ration coupons. We had to, uh, I remember coffee and sugar. My mother was always a coffee drinker. But it didn't affect me, that rationing. But I remember the Easter time, we couldn't get the chocolate bunnies. And what my mom did was she got Milky Way bars and decorate them with a cake decorating tube. And I don't recall about the jelly beans then, but uh, I wasn't as big on candy then as I am right now, <laughs> unfortunately. And those were the only foods that you remember that were yeah. scarce? Uh, yeah, you know, I you were about, remember. How old were you um, during this time period? Um, I don't know, really. I was born in 1933. So it was from when you were about eight? And the war ended in 45, so uh, between 8 and 12 um, was during the war, war period for you. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any other recollections? Well, I remember stockings were very, very hard to get. And the women used to put the uh, makeup on like we would put foundation on our faces. They would put it on their legs so it would look like stockings, but my opinion, it didn't fool anybody. Right. And, the, um, and that's all you remember about the food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, do you have any recollection of what went on? Uh, you always lived in Uniontown then? Yes, all my life. Same house. 
Uh, do you remember anything in Uniontown about the um, uh, servicemen who went to war? Did you see any of them? Did you see anyone in uniform? The only one I can think of offhand is Slim Polochek. And I, I'm not even sure what his real name was. Slim was his nickname because he was quite slender. And he looked nice in his soldier's uniform. I remember that. Oh, uh, what branch was he, uh, was he in? Just the Army. I don't know Army. what division of mm -hmm. any kind. Do you know where he served? If he went overseas or anything? Yes, he definitely been, went overseas. He went overseas. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You know. I think my mom used to write to him because yeah. he was a a fellow fireman when he was around. Oh, he was a volunteer with my dad. Oh, up in Uniontown? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember any songs or anything during the war that the only entertainment one, music or something? Well, I, there were uh, a lot of songs, but I remember the one, Praise the Lord, Pass the Ammunition. I'm not even sure if that's the correct title, but it was pretty popular, and it, it just made my father so angry when he heard it. He said, men are dying like flies, and they make a song like that. He'd just get so angry, he'd go and turn the radio off on us. Did, uh, did Dad serve, or was Dad beyond the age of going into I the service? I think he was too old. He was yeah. too old. Unless it was because it was three of us, I'm not sure. Do you remember any neighbors that were in service other than this uh, Polochik, is it? How were you spelling his name? Do you know how to spell his name? I don't know. No. Do you remember any other neighbors in the Union County area going away? No, I don't remember no. them. I know uh, Evelyn Parquet, Evelyn Wasmith Parquet. Her father was in the service, but I don't know if that was World War II or not. I see. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to add for our files? Well, such as... Any recollections? Did, did anything change, like the way you played outside with the kids because there was the war theme always around? No, I had a very happy childhood. I don't think the war interfered with my growing mm -hmm. up at all. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Fernandez. Now, there is one other thing I do remember. My father had a garden. I think they call them Victory Gardens. And we didn't have any property of our own, but there was a, a vacant lot about a block up from where we live. And, and a block up from where you live, where would that be, Ronnie? That would be where Capron, Capron's, May Capron, I'm sure the old timers may remember May Capron. Yeah, is that still on High Street? Yes. And just, uh, it's just still in Empty Lot, I believe. Up the hill a bit from James Street, that would be. It's um, so a yeah. few houses up from James. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the name of that little short street right across from it. I like that empty yeah. lot, I think, is still there. Mm -hmm. But uh, nobody has anything growing there. It, it's the lot before the new, the contemporary houses are on um, High Street. I don't know. It's the on the right hand side growing right. up, I don't okay. know. So that's about three houses up on the right side from uh, James. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess it was. And nice. what did you plant there? Do you remember what was I going? remember tomatoes, because mm -hmm. I was a big treat. I love garden tomatoes. How many... And uh, how many beans. How many people used that lot? Were there many people using that lot, or it wasn't that big? I only remember my dad being there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I you, uh, you remember tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you remember anything being done at school with the food or anything? Or no. Any All I remember is practice and air raid drills. Mm -hmm. We had to. Uh, air raid drills at home or in the in school? school. Oh, and yeah, that we had to line up against the wall, put our head down on our knees, bring our knees up, rest our head down on our arms. Mm -hmm. And the all clear signal. Oh, they had an all clear signal. Mm -hmm. What did they use for all clear? The regular bell. Regular bell. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, is there anything else that you could recollect? Well, I remember my sister 
I don't know if it was then or later on when the war was over, but they still had servicemen. She used to go to the uh, canteen. She worked in the city, and then she'd go a couple of nights to the canteen, and we met some of the guys. My mom would have them up for Sunday dinner. Oh, and where was, this, where was this canteen? Somewhere in the city. I see. Mm -hmm. And she worked down, uh, mm -hmm. way down in the city. And the men Hill Street District, I think it was. And the men at that canteen were from different yeah. areas yeah. of the United States. Yeah. I remember one mm -hmm. fellow, he was so cute, a sailor. His name was Chuck. I don't remember the last name. Mm -hmm. But he had such a southern accent. Mm -hmm. I could have listened to him for hours. He was so cute. Mm -hmm. Fond memories. Yeah. 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 I remember, that. Mm -hmm. I remember a lot of Sunday dinners, there was a service man there. Mm -hmm. And what was your mother able to serve since some of the food was so hard to get? That I don't remember. You don't remember? I don't remember the foods at all. Mm -hmm. I was a very finicky eater, so <laughs> I probably didn't like whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? Or that's about it that you yeah. recall? Yeah. Okay. Thank you.